Hello, my name is Rigumar from the Avaya Client Services team. This video will demonstrate how to configure and integrate the Avaya Aura Communication Manager with Avaya Call Management System. So let's start with the configuration which we have to do at the CM end. For this demo purpose, I am using an Avaya Aura Communication Manager software release 6.3. Whenever we are integrating a CMS system with an Avaya Aura Communication Manager, we need to configure the CMS software release on CM. For this, we need to go to Change System Parameters Features. Go down to page number 12. Come to a session called Call Management System. Under that, under CMS, we have to configure the CMS release details. I am using a software release which is release 17 for this demo purpose. So I have chose the option release 16.1, release 16.x, release 17.0. So I'm going to submit the changes. Now we need to map an IP address of the CMS with a node name. So for that, we need to go to change node names IP. configure a name for an identification so I will be configuring it as CMS with the far end CMS IP address submit the changes so now we need to go to change communication interface processor channel uh, to configure the other details like the far end uh, port ID the far end destination uh, uh, details so for that we need to go to change communication interface processor channel so for this demo, I will be using the browser channel number one. So I am enabling that particular interface. The application will be MIS. The mode which we need to configure here is the server. The interface link and channel. We can either use a proker or a CLAN for this. So for this demo purpose, I am using a proker. So I will be configuring it as PV4. Channel number as 5001 the destination node is the node name which we just configured which is CMS the local and remote session ID as 1 we need to make sure that whatever configuration details which we have done on this particular page we need to configure the same details at the CMS end I'm submitting the changes now run the command status Browser channel 1 to check the status of the link which we just configured. As you can see here, the session layer status is showing as awaiting transport because we just configured uh, the details on the CM end, but we have not configured this link on the CMS end. So once the link is configured on the CMS end, the session layer status should be showing as in service. So this concludes the configuration on the CM end. Now let's do the configuration at the CMS end. For this we need to log into the CMS shell prompt using the username and password for the CMS. This CMS is already done with the initial authorization so we can directly go to configure our first ACD on this. For this we need to run the command CMS SVC. Choose the option 5 for running the initial configuration. It is asking me the confirmation for reconfiguring this CMS. I am putting it as yes. I am reconfiguring this particular CMS from scratch. So it is asking me to choose a language. The default one is English. So I am choosing one for English. So now it is initializing the customer CMS data. So it will take some time for me to get the other option. So now it is asking me to enter a name for my CMS box. So I am giving the name for my CMS. Next is to choose the type of backup device I am using. I have two options available here. One is to choose the tape drive or the other option is to choose any other default location within CMS. So I am choosing an option 2 
I'm choosing the default path as slash temp so that it will just move all my backup to slash temp which is a temporary directory in CMS. The next is to enter the ACD is being administered. As we know we can configure up to eight different ACDs on one particular CMS box or we can say that one CMS server can handle up to eight different Avaya Aura communication manager. So for this I am choosing one because I am just configuring only one ACD now. It's asking me to enter the information for my first ACD. The first one is to enter a name for my ACD. I am choosing it as ACD1. It is asking to choose the model of the switch for this ACD. So uh, for this demo I am using an Avaya Aura Communication Manager 6.x so I am using the option 6. So now it will be asking me different options like uh, vector, is vector enabled on the switch, am I using an expert agent selection, uh, uh, am I using a central office disconnect supervision, so lot these many options I need to configure based on uh, what I configured on my CMN. So I will be choosing it as yes for all these. Now the next it will be asking me to enter the port assigned to the switch. So when I configured on the CMN, I choose the local as well as the remote as one. So I'll be using the same port here. Now it is asking me to enter uh, the type of media. So I will be using a transport media TCP IP. Now it is asking me to enter either the switch host name or the IP address. This is the IP address of uh, it can be a proker or it can be a CLAN. For this demo, I have configured my proker as a link to con you know integrate with the CMS. So I'll be configuring my proker IP address here. The next one is choose the TCP port. I configured 5001 on my CM end, so I need to configure the same port on my CMS end as well. Next, it will be asking me to provision, uh, you know, uh, number of splits, number of agents uh, logged into one particular split, number of shifts available on my contact center, etc. These things I need to configure based on my requirement. And based on this, it will allocate or compute the space need for ACD1. So I will be configuring all these as default. Number of shifts, I can configure up to four. Uh, shift in my contact sender so but I will be configuring it as one here for simplicity it's asking me the number of agents logged in be choosing all default here number of work codes number of vectors so now once I enter all these details, you can see here it was updating the database and it was computing the space requirement and DB space for ACD1. So now the setup has been completed. Now we can verify the settings again by running the same command, CMS SVC. Choose the option 6 for displaying the switch information. We need to select the ACD. We have only configured one ACD here, so I'll choose option one and it will show us the information of ACD one, like the switch model, which is communication manager 6.x, what are the different options we enabled on ACD one, what, what is the remote and the local port, as well as the TCP IP information, which is the port as well as the IP address of either our proker or CLAN. This concludes the configuration at the CMS end. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions and feedbacks at mentor at or at twitter at Mentor.